gerekiyor bence. Right. So if you have read and understood, considering this critical case scenario, can you tell me how would you manage this patient? I will manage according to the record using FCD approach. Yes. I will uh, give high flow in the humidified in. I also I would like uh, uh, to maintain adequate ventilation. If it's uh, according to the GCS, it might need. Uh, Yes. Uh, what would you give medicine? for underlying cause? This, uh, I will give uh, antidote for morphine. I will give that for four point four to two milligram. Yes, IV. Uh, Initially, then yes, every two to three minutes until up to ten milligram. Okay, where would you manage this patient? I will manage in the uh, intensive therapy unit. Okay, who would you involve in the management of this patient? Uh, the ICU registrar and also the surgeon and the anesthetist. Okay, what are the side effects of morphine overdose? What uh, would you look for? What sign and symptoms? How would you know if it's been uh, overdose or toxic dose of morphine? Uh, there will be a noisy and vomiting abdominal stump. And respiratory depression. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, How would you do? Yes. Sorry. Can you please tell me how would you differentiate it from respiratory failure to toxicity, uh, respiratory depression? Uh, and respiratory failure is type type one or type two. Yes. Uh, How would you know? What would be the basic thing that you look for? I will look for the pressure pressure of the oxygen and the ventilation and perfusion uh, mismatch. This then for type one, yes, this uh, and for type two mismatch. In type two, there will be hyperkalemia, increase the BCO two level. Okay, your voice is very uh, low. I can hardly hear you. Okay, then how would you uh, how would you differentiate? Can you name few causes of respiratory depression other than uh, morphine overdose? Uh, it can be due to uh, asthmatic or COPD, which yes. increase airway reception or decrease the Effort of breathing in extreme obesity. Uh, it can be due to CNS diseases. Yes. And also due to reduced cell gas exchange, such as incorrect bronchitis or some deformities such as kyphoscoliosis. Yes. Can you explain the mechanism how this carbon dioxide retention in the body leads to respiratory failure? Uh, this is... Uh, which it is caused alveolar ventilation defect, yes. which leads to hyperkalemia and stimulates the central chemoreceptor, yes. which causes the increased respiratory rate. Okay, where all this mechanism takes place? In the central chemoreceptor. Red blood cells. Yeah, okay, just... how this carbon dioxide is transported in the blood? In three form can be dissolved, dissolved or 
in bicarbonate as 70% or in carbamino group okay can 20%. you yes and then the remaining 70% dissolve with the bicarbonate okay can you please tell me where are the receptors located which sense hypercarbia in, in the central chemoreceptor just adjacent to the respiratory center in the adrenal medulla okay how uh, what is the response mechanism to hypercarbia how the body responds how these receptors respond uh, it is it stimulates the uh, central chemoreceptor, which induces central acidosis, will yes. increase the respiratory effort, which increases the respiratory rate to wash out the excessive carbon dioxide. Okay, and if there is no uh, compensation, metabolic compensation, then what happens? Uh, the, the, Did it take the, the increase? Yes. For the renal compensation, it takes three to five days. Okay. Uh, what happens if there is still no metabolic compensation? The kidneys still are not reacting, then what will happen? Um, How the patient is, uh, presents with, yes. Respiratory acidosis. Sorry? How the, how the patient, when kidneys have stopped, they, have not, they are not working, they are not compensating and patient has presented with respiratory acidosis, what will happen then? Or metabolic acidosis? Can you explain the mechanism? It's uncompensated respiratory acidosis. Yes, what will happen then? Kidneys have failed to work. What would happen now? Kidneys are not excreting hydrogen ion excess. What's happening then? They are within the proximal tubule or what is happening? Can you explain the mechanism? There is increase in the cellular buffering, yes, which then? lead to reabsorption of bicarbonate and excretion of the carbonic acid in form of hydrogen. Okay. All right. Can you please tell me if you can uh, if you can tell me uh, right. This patient was taking morphine only. What is the normal dose of morphine that can be given for the purpose of pain management? This is up to 10 milligram. Okay. Can you please tell me this morphine, how does it act on which receptors? It's act on more, more receptor in the uh, respiratory center in the adrenal, in the middle. Okay, can you uh, tell me what is chlorine shift? What is what? Chlorine, chlorine shift. Okay, can you tell me how this pain that patient is perceiving this pathway acts? The pain pathway, can you explain from nociceptors? Uh, I don't know. Okay, we'll come back to that later. Can you tell me about the WHO spain okay. ladder? Why is it called WHO spain ladder? Uh, firstly. Yes. Yes, please. This firstly, we use uh, no, no, we use just ibuprofen, yes, or paracetamol. Then we use a mild morphine, just as the codeine. Then after that, strong uh, codeine, such as the morphine. Okay, can you tell me about patient control uh, analgesia? PCA. Patient control. I don't know. Okay. Uh, if uh, this patient, uh, patient controls his own medication through yes, the... Yes, you knew it. Yes, please. Yes? There is a uh, patient is connected to the infusion pump. Yes. 
and this is ultimately which they lead to automatically uh, give the patient medications according yes. to Spain. Okay, this patient is the post of patient and a patient has or experiences pain. And if you don't manage the pain of this patient, what are the complications that can result? How would it affect the yes system? Patient will be the yes, yes, and? There will be tachycardia and decrease the cardiac output. Yes. And how would it affect GIT, respiratory system, metabolic system? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go through it. We'll do that. Thank you.